In our last example, we worked with the family of sets F, and I just wanted to work kind of a concrete example of what it means to be a family of sets. So here's a very specific example. F is a family of sets, and all that means is that every element of the set F is itself a set. So very specifically here, we have one element of the family of sets is this element right here, and that element is itself a set. It's the set whose elements are 2, 3, and 5. Similarly, this is an element of F, but it itself is a set. It's the set that contains elements 5 and 7. So really, F is just a set whose elements are all sets themselves. That's all that means. Okay? It's a little intimidating to use this kind of fancy F symbol, but that's all it means. And some of the things that we typically do with family of sets is we have this symbol that we say a lot. What is union of F? Well, what is that? What does that mean? Union of F means just compute the union across all sets of F. So that means take the first set and union it with the second set, union with the third, and union it in general for every single element of the family of sets. Here, our family of sets only has four elements, so we just have to union four things together. And we know how the union works. It's going to find basically the common elements between everybody, or not common, but you know any element that appears in any set will appear in the union. So this is going to contain 2, because 2 is in this set. It will contain 3, because 3 is in that set. It will contain 5, because 5 is in the first set. It will contain 7, because I have 7 in this set and this set. It will contain 11, because I have 11 in that set. 13, because of there. 17, because of there. So we have now computed the union of F. And this is really all it means, is that we just take the union of every set in the family of sets. Let's do another one. Let's compute what we call the intersection of the family of sets. So this is the symbol you'll see in textbooks often, intersect of F. And again, this is simple. This just means take every single set in the family of sets and intersect them. So the first set intersected with the second set, intersected with the third, intersected with the fourth. Because for this specific example we're working, there are only four elements in the family of sets. For other problems you work, there might be five or ten or an infin infinite amount of them. But for this concrete example we're doing here, there's just four. So let's do this. And I'm going to break this up a little bit. Two, three, five intersected with five, seven. What common elements do they have? That's what the intersection means. Well, those overlap with just five, so that intersection gives us five. Then over here, when I intersect those two sets, I have just the element 7, and now I need to intersect the set 5 with the set 7, and that gives me the empty set. So actually in this problem, the intersection of the family of sets gives me an empty set. So there's a concrete example working with a family of sets. And some of the basic operations that we often do, computing the union across the family of sets, and computing the intersection across the family of sets.